So perhaps starting with a bit of a sigh, a letting go breath. Relaxation is sometimes one of the hardest things to commit to when we're doing a practice by ourselves or at home rather than in a yoga space or on a retreat. And it's actually essential uh, to develop our practice, to develop our yoga practice, to develop awareness, to help our nervous system to, to grow. During rest and sleep, uh, a lot is happening that is really, really essential for our well-being, uh, for our nervous system to make and embed new connections and learn new things. I have a quote here from Open Mind, daily, Women's Daily Inspiration for Becoming Mindful by Diane Mary Child. And it's a little mini chapter called Growth by M.C. Richards. Growth is not to be understood in terms of infinite expansion. It is helpful to notice in life and work how the motions of widening and narrowing follow rhythmically, as in centering clay on the potter's wheel, to produce a quality of being. In order to make the form, the clay must be brought into the compass of the hands. And then Diane Marychild, the editor, adds that the dominant Western culture sees growth in terms of acquisition. More is better. And this is thinly disguised by such words as growth, progress, development and evolution, all of which are considered essential. And she equates it to a kind of greed. It could be, it could be greed to just want more all the time. And she suggests to honour both the times of expansion and the times of contraction, the times of stillness, the times of action, winter time, summer time, yin and yang. And she says to bring this understanding to, to ourselves on a personal level, we can look at the times we feel stuck or tired or not bothered, demotivated, and understand these times as part of a natural cycle of rest and renewal. We need times of rest and absorption, she writes, just as the fields need to rest and the crops need rotation. And when we honour these cycles in our personal lives, we'll reap the benefit. So after perhaps trying a few new things in the class, stimulating our nervous system, learning something in an embodied way, feeling it in the body, allowing the body to rest, letting go of the form, letting go of the doing, letting go of action and effort, and replace with resting and being. Noticing how after a period of stillness, you're probably breathing differently. And 
Notice how your mind is. If you're still spinning a few plates in your thoughts, awareness of the future or the past, whatever thoughts might pop up. See if you can gently place those topics that come up or thoughts that come up to one side. Very gently, as if you're picking up something fragile, or precious, and just putting it gently to one side, carefully, cautiously. Because thoughts are useful, thoughts are often useful. They can be our allies, they can remind us of important things. And sometimes when we want our mind to rest, we simply want to encourage those thoughts to settle for a while. And they probably still come knocking on the door of our attention. And you can gently say, not just now, in a little while. Putting them aside. And the, often the more kindly and patiently we do this, the more our mind will be willing to settle. pacifying the thinking mind. And then letting our attention drop down into the body. finding refuge in the quiet rhythm of your breath right now. If for any reason noticing your breathing doesn't feel calming today. Bring your attention to your hands and your feet. Noticing stimulation there. Perhaps still an afterglow from the work we did on our hands and our feet. If you are mainly resting with awareness of your breath, you can now bring your awareness to your hands and feet as well. And perhaps imagining 
as you breathe that your in-breath reaches out to your hands, to the palms of your hands and the soles of your feet. And as you breathe out, becoming aware of your belly, pulling back towards the centre of your body. Connecting your breath to your hands and feet. Breathing in as if towards your hands and feet. Breathing out, coming back from the hands and the feet to the centre of the belly. Noticing what sensations, if any, arise from connecting your breath with your hands and feet in your imagination. And then, when you feel ready, you could breathe in a little bit more deeply towards your hands and your feet. And our hands and our feet often instigate our movements. So as we breathe in, we could start to wriggle them a little bit. And then breathing out relaxing again, breathing in, moving the fingers, the toes, spreading them, breathing out, relaxing them again, like a little wave of breath and movement. Perhaps deepening the breath to gradually coax you out of stillness, back to movement instigated by the hands and the feet. Until you feel ready to stretch maybe your arms, go a little bit deeper into a, a movement of your legs, waking up the body. And if you want to take longer, or stay still for longer, of course you can. So if you feel ready to go back to action mode. <laughs> 